Road Dog Crypto. Hello, Road Dogs. We're taking a look at Dot, giving you a quick update on that. Man, Dot got beat down quite a bit, right? Came back down to about 423. Dot caught support right here, about four and a quarter. Started working strongly to the upside. Glad to see that. Because as I said in the last video, right around $4 was when I got in before the last bull market where we went up to $50. Definitely won that you want to think about putting in your portfolio. But currently on the four hour, we've been chugging along, right? Things are looking pretty good. I did see some hidden bearish divergence occur about right here when we were about 550. I put out a tweet because I didn't have time to make a video. They had a possibility that we could come back and retrace these areas. This is like the 618 Fibonacci of this move. However, DOT invalidated that, kept moving to the upside. It's already passed my first take profit area. Came just a little shy of hitting the second at 469 and I do have another one up here but this 200 EMA on the four hour of four dollars and eighty cents and it looks like we are on our way up there short term if you're trading this this trend line that I got drawn right here when we break that wherever that may be that's your sign to get out because we will be retracing back to the downward areas you can even see that on the smaller time frames on the one hour if you're trading that's probably where i would look at that uh, for a breakdown that's where i would consider exiting my position or at least taking profit in dot but there's something going on in the bigger picture we need to take a look at so we just zoom out a little bit on the daily and we had this nice little breakout right here of this falling channel right that's what's giving us a bump up when you zoom out you can see that we're we're still in a bigger falling channel all these have about a 68 70 percent chance to break out to the upside that's in our favor the only thing that's going against us right now that i'm concerned about is one our stochastics are running a little bit to the high point right here and they're starting to get a little crook there stochastics can get pinned up here for a little bit the biggest thing that's cluing me in is the divergence and i'm talking about this little guy right here that little guy right there and we're starting to form a little bit more bearish divergence uh so it is possible that we could continue on up to this trend line and i've, I've got to measure move from this area here that will bring us up to about 475 as a target and we might find rejection at that area however if we're just kind of looking at our moving averages we could go all the way up here to about 490 test that area i don't see us getting past this area here of about 511 509 is what i came up with on a, another chart going down to a smaller time frame so now knowing this let's go back down to these smaller time frames so on this four hour we also have that hidden divergence so it's very likely that we may get rejected here at least short term the biggest thing that i would probably want to look out for is our moving averages when we see those start crossings this blue one crossing that white one on this four hour that's a good move and then that should edge us up i don't know if you can see it right here but right here is my 200 uh, moving average on the four hour. That's where we could suffer a little rejection here. And that's coming in about $4.80. So again, I would be cautious with this. I would wait for a break of this trend line and possibly get out or take profit of that. But keep in mind, if things keep going good and we can retest this area, um, this would be a great area if we do a retest of a breakout here because that could mean that we would be going up to this $5.09, $5.11 area. And just depending on how we're looking there with divergences thing, we could even possibly move on up to about 562. So those are some areas that I'm looking for as far as DOT. And it's really going to depend on what goes on right here at this trend line. Um, that's going to be a big one for us to get past. Good things I see going is the Ichimoku is going in the green here. But, you know, if that thickens up, that just gives us a place where we can dump back through. So those are the biggest things I see on DOT in the short term. Give you some ideas. Possibly a short would be here. But you really got to pay attention to the signs uh, because this could just be going sideways for a little bit, buying time for a bigger breakout of this bigger pattern. Until next time, my name is Lane, your Crypto Road Dog. Wishing you the best. Stay positive. Stay happy. Look at that money flow coming in, going down a little bit, but it's still there, baby. It's got some hope. Until next time, remember you got this. Some call him the Nostradamus of crypto. His charting skills have discovered new entire galaxies. He once was engaged to Satoshi Nakamoto's oldest sister. He is the most interesting trader in the world. And today we ask him, what do you do when the market crashes? I buy more. And I also subscribe to Road Dog Crypto. Trade wisely, my friends.